Hello everyone, my name is Ralph, SAP Business One Solution Architect, and today I will present you one simple application on JavaScript that uses Service Layer to manipulate Business One objects. If you are new to the concept of Service Layer, I recommend you to check this video description, where you will find more information about it. From now, you can assume Service Layer as one REST API which exposes SAP Business One in JSON format. You can interact with Service Layer in multiple ways such as Java, Ruby, .NET, and JavaScript, which is today's case that we will present. To run this application, you will need your service layer up and running. And service layer is one server-based component. In other words, it is installed on the same server as your, as your, your business one server. So the first step before you start using this application is verify if your service layer is up and running. And you can easily verify that through your web browser. Uh, so we can go to one browser and try to connect to our service layer. In this case, my service layer is placed on my HANA server, HTTPS, HANA server, the default port for service layer, B1S, V1. If this is your case, if you get this kind of alert saying that your you, this the server you're trying to connect, the page you're trying to access is not trusted, you can just bypass this in here and then you have one return from your service layer saying, saying you have an invalid session. This is okay. Uh, but this, if, uh, if you get this kind of message, if you are not seeing one HTTPS trusted connection up in here, you have problems using the application I will demonstrate here in the most recent browsers, such as Firefox uh, and Google Chrome, for example. And that's because, because these browsers do not allow one local application or, or websites to, to make calls to not trusted domains. For example, you cannot have your application calling a service layer that belongs to a no trusted domain, that don't have one uh, signed certificate, don't have one trusted HTTPS connection. So as one more around, uh, if that's your case, I recommend you to use the Eclipse browser. Uh, the Eclipse browser is embedded on your Eclipse application or and also on your HANA Studio, which is based on Eclipse. So uh, what I did in here, I imported those files to my as one project of my my Eclipse. I call it this uh, service layer JavaScript, and here I have my index file and my sl.js file. And here I have uh, running this application on on browser. I I have running. Uh, I'm running my service layer JS application. Uh, basically, before I start connecting and proceed with the with the interaction with your service layer, just try to access from this browser, your service layer. So we can call the same address in here and we're gonna have the same kind of alert. We just can continue and now we are good to go. So I can go here on start now, for example, connect to my service layer with my credentials. And try to connect and here I'm connected to the service layer so I can for example get the business partner list mm -hmm. and here you can see all business partners and also as I mentioned service layer works with, with JSON format data so we can check also the JSON that came in return from this application so here I have all business partners and all properties of those business partners in a JSON format so that was the first business partner here we have one second and so on. Uh, you can also insert, for example, one item. For example, I can uh, item 100 and call it test item YouTube and post it. You can see that you have one good to go message and we can also get this item now, that which is inserted. Here I have my item with this item name all the properties and default values already fill it and the presentation here on this first table. Uh, so it's very easy to handle those objects. Let's now analyze how this is, how, how the information flows through our code. Uh, so basically I already mentioned we have two files, one index file which is the presentation file, we don't need to deal with anything with this file right now, it's good to present the information the way it is. Uh, we, if you can manipulate and check how the calls are performed, you need to check the sl.js file. And let's check 
how this works. So here, uh, this is the beginning of our file. Uh, we I have just one event, what let's call it event handler uh, on the on the first step. So uh, every time one action is performed, I point this action to one operation in my JavaScript file. For for example, every time this button is clicked, uh, I call the function connect sl. Uh, every time any other button is clicked, I check what button is this one, and then call call the specific function for get business partner post an item and so on. Uh, so this is mainly one function for handle every kind of event my my application receives. But the most important for you guys are here on the, on the AJAX functions. Uh, for instance, the connect SL function will perform the connection of our to our service layer, and to do that we are using one function called AJAX. This function belongs to jQuery, one one uh, widely used. JavaScript library, uh, which is free to use, we just can uh, you just can download or just reference uh, to to the specific library. If you check the index.html file, you're gonna see one reference to this uh, one CDN where you will find this jQuery. Uh, and basically, this function allows us to make the REST calls that are supported by our service layer, by Business One service layer. So, uh, what is uh, what kind of information it needs? First of all, the direct direction of the service you are performing your request. So, uh, in the first in the first form, the user is filled uh, the information of business one service layer server, which is the direction of the service layer. Now, uh, based on this server, we can add the services of the service layer. For example, uh, first of all, we're gonna make a login, uh, like assess the login services of the service layer. So uh, I'm gonna concatenate the this uh, the service in here, pass one JSON as uh, payload as information as an object to perform the connection, and on this payload what, on this JSON the information what do we have on it? We're gonna check the JSON data. We have the username, the uh, the password, and the company database. On this specific format, I can send this as a post a post type of transaction and receive one JSON as return if, if it succeeds or uh, one, uh, one error message if uh, it failed for, for any reason. So what we are, I'm doing in here, sending this JSON information, performing one post operation and get uh, ret retrieving one message to the final user if it succeeds or not. Uh, but how do I know the format of this JSON? How do I know that we need to place one username, password, and company DB as followed in here. Uh, you can check on the same server which is installed your service layer. You can go to this direction, your service layer slash docs v1 index html, and you will find the service layer API reference. And you can see all services that are available on it. And in this case, we are working with the login. You're gonna see that you can perform one post operation, and this post operation expects expect this kind of JSON. So, this is basically what you need to 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 send to perform on connection. The same thing, for example, if you want to get one business partner, for example, uh, one specific business partner, you can perform one get operation uh, and perform uh, and send the business partner with the the ID you want to get. You don't need to send any JSON. Uh, payload on, on this request. Uh, it's different if you are trying, for example, uh, to, to insert one new business partner, to make one post in one business partner. In this case, you need to send one JSON with the information of, the, of that business partner. So, to see how this is formatted, we can, for example, pop up this alert in here, in the middle of the process. So, uh, it will format the JSON before make the, and before make the the call to perform the connection, I'm gonna present one alert, one pop-up window uh, with the content of this JSON. So let's save this and refresh in here. And we can connect to our service layer. And here we have it, our JSON username, L password. Uh, our company database and so on.
So uh, it will uh, in this case it's not uh, I have I have a problem with that. I'm, I'm not placing my correct password, of course. But just so you see how we format that JSON that JSON payload. So uh, this is mainly the, the the core of all application. How do you handle those kinds of tra of of transaction? How do you handle uh, the service layer services? So you can check, for example. The post business partner is the same process. We call the AJAX function with one uh, JSON data. In this, but now we will have the card code uh, that which I will get get from the form on the user interface, the card name and the card type, which we, which follows the same process. I'm calling the same service layer server, but now calling the service business partners. Pass my JSON data in here. Make one post uh, type of transaction and if succeeded, I send one alert of uh, everything went good. Uh, if fails, I send one alert with the error. Uh, and also, to make to make the operation with the items is the same steps. Uh, and to perform the, the gets, we can use uh, another approach, for example. But uh, it's mainly the, the, the same concept. So uh, let's check, for example, the get business partner, which is in here. The get business partner is the same function if you are getting one business partner solo or if you are getting uh, one list of business partners so uh, basically what I did it here I put I placed one argument saying that uh, if you are, if you want to retrieve one list of business partner or just one business partner which I call filter uh, if you are not calling for a, a list I'm placing here uh, the filter with one business partner value the card code value which is in the form on the user interface and in this case, I'm not calling the function Ajax. I'm calling the function get, which is Ajax.get. Uh, it's basically have the same arguments, but I don't need to specify explicitly that I'm calling one type get uh, or post or patch or so on. I am since I'm calling uh, since I'm, I'm calling the function get, I don't need to specify that. So basically, I place my services, which is my service layer address uh, slash business partners. In case I have a future. I will place this in here. Uh, in case not, it will be blank. And then, if everything is is good, I can display my JSON information with uh, one or more business partner and present this to the to the to the user. Uh, so I could here also use the AJAX function, the AJAX function, for example, and on the on the parameters, say that my type will be one uh, get, for example. It could be that way. Uh, however, this is uh, is is just another way to perform the uh, the same the same operation. Since I'm just performing gets in here, is way too straightforward. Do on uh, calling the the get function itself. You also have the post function with itself, which you, you you can you could replace our AJAX call up in, up in here. I could use a post in here, but it's just uh, the same way to perform. Uh, the dif uh, different ways to perform the same operation. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, explanation and understand the co understood the concept of how can we perform the uh, the interactions with the service layer. You can use service layer. I've already mentioned with several different languages. Uh, and if you explore a little bit more of this code, you can get a little bit familiarized with jQuery and uh, how you can manipulate. Uh, those objects. So you're gonna find more in here, uh, more more functions to present the information to the to the end user. But the real core uh, of this application relies on those get posts and AJAX functions. So uh, if you like this video, please click on like. Uh, if you want to stay updated for more videos of this channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check this video description for more information. And thank you very much.